So in this video, we're going to be creating an option to verify users just like Twitter. So the first thing we need to do is update our database. So we need to go and update our database and add a new column called verified, which is going to be a Boolean. So in our users table, what we want to do is go to structure and we want to add a new row at the bottom called verified. And it's going to be a Boolean. And we're going to allow that to be null because not everyone's going to be verified. And then what we need to do, since we've modified our users table, we need to go into our create account page and modify our query. So here what we want to do when we insert into users, so we just need to modify this by adding another row for our new verified column. And we need to cancel out these single quotes and we need to provide it a value. So the default is going to be zero, which is unverified and one is going to be verified. And then what I'm going to do is create a new user and I'm going to click create account. And you can see it says success and we refresh the database table and you can see now the verified for that user is zero. And what we're also going to do actually is change the allow null to not allow null and the default is going to be zero. And then therefore all the other rows have just been updated to zero as well. So nobody's verified. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the profile page and we're going to check if the user's verified. So when we check if the user's verified, we're going to say dash and we're just going to print out if the user's verified. Just like that. So if the user's verified, we're going to say that they're verified in their profile header. If I go to the page and refresh, we aren't going to get anything printed out except we get this error because we haven't actually declared the variable verified yet. And then what we want to do up here is when we get the username, we'll say verified equals and we'll just do a simple query. We'll copy that query and just paste it down here and change it from username to verified because we want to get the verified column and we want to get the verified column here. It probably is a lot more efficient to just run one query and select all, but at the minute we're going to keep things simple and we're probably going to change that in the future. So at the minute we're using one query for each individual item we're getting from the database just for simplicity. Now we've created verified, we also want to go up here and say verified equals false. And then what we'll do is refresh and you can see we get nothing printed out. If I go to the database and change this to a one, now it says verified. So how are we going to verify users? To do that, we're going to create another account and we're going to call it verified, similar to the way Twitter does it. And we're just going to click create account. So now that we've created our verified account, what we're going to do is we're going to log into that account. So we're logged in as verified and we're going to go to the Francis account. And what we're going to do is we're going to check if the user is being followed by verified. So if you're being followed by verified, then we're going to verify the user, just like the way Twitter does it. So we're going to click follow and there we're following Francis now. And then on the profile page, what we want to do is put in a check that says, if you're being followed by verified, then we're going to verify you. So what we'll do is when we follow the user, we'll do a simple check that says, if user ID, and we'll go to the database and get the user ID of verified, which is six. So we'll say, if the user ID equals six, then we'll run another query. And this query is going to update the user's profile and make them verified. And we actually want to change this from where user ID equals six to where follower ID equals six because the follower ID is going to be the ID of verified and the user ID is going to be the ID of the user that we're following. So by checking if the follower ID equals six, we're essentially checking if the user is logged in as verified. We're going to update the user table and set the verified column equal to one, which means the user is verified. And then we're going to follow the user. And we're also going to copy this. And before we delete the follower from followers, we're also going to unverify the user. So we'll set verified equal to zero. So let's try this and see does it work. So if I refresh, you can see that my profile isn't verified. So I'll just manually verify it in here. You can see it says verified. If I click unfollow and I refresh, now you can see it says I'm unverified and I refresh. My verified status has gone back to zero and I go to followers and nobody's following anyone. But if I click follow, it says I'm following that user. I refresh, you can see that the user Francis is being followed by the user with the ID of six, which is the verified account. I go to users and Francis's verified status has just been updated. And I refresh and you can see it says verified now. If I go to HowCode, for example, who isn't verified, they don't see that. And if I click follow, 
they get verified. So I don't know if that's exactly how Twitter does it, but on Twitter, every user who's verified is followed by a special account called Verified. So that's how we're gonna do it for our social network. We have a verified account that follows people, and then if the verified account follows you, your profile will become verified. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit, and I'll see you next time.